Well, we're still trapped in this war with bloody Daenerys, so I think we'll have a nice little fun wait for Daenerys to lose the war montage while we uh, while we sit around and really can do nothing because we can't do certain events, we can't do certain decisions while we're at, technically at war, as I said before. What, what was the event that I specifically wanted to do? I don't remember. Um... We had something here that we couldn't do, for whatever reason. So, we'll blitz through this. We can't win it. She can't win it. So, I guess we'll just, uh, I guess we'll just wait. Somehow, despite everything, she actually managed to get a white piece out of that. So, that could have ended a lot, lot worse if she was in his prison. He could have just straight up executed her. If she went into huge amounts of debt, she obviously would have been screwed through that. But, hey, white piece, fine, whatever. So, unfortunately, during that time... Carl John the Just has been hit by, struck by, uh, smooth fatigue. Which is a little bit annoying, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Now, they thought it was cancer, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, because enough, obviously enough time hasn't passed yet. Now, the other thing worth mentioning here is, I think it was Halas Stark Targaryen. Ended up with, uh, yeah. Daenerys gave him a dragon egg. So she's really dishing it out to everybody. And I believe we have a spare dragon egg as well, don't we? Um, yeah, Rhaegal's dragon egg. So I think, maybe it's time to throw it at Kratzness. Kratzness is definitely, I think, our our personal heir of choice. Could also be Hayrus. Oh, Hayrus already is a dragon rider. Viserion? Wait, that's not the Viserion. No, it's not the Viserion. It's, a, it's another... Okay, that's Drogon's... Uh, Drogon's baby dragon there, so we won't worry about that one. So he's already a dragon rider. Um, Halas already has a dragon egg. And then it's just Lyanna and Rayella, so I guess it's only Kratzness left to actually receive a dragon egg. Let's grant him that. It is the highest honor you can apparently give to a character in the game, so we'll chuck him that one. Fingers crossed he won't fuck up the hatching. I think he should be fine with it. He's patient, he's diligent. He's got, uh, obviously that, that Stark Targaryen blood there. Where am I? Where are bloodlines these days? Um, dragon hatching chance plus 350%. Dragon taming chance plus 250%. Also grants a traditional climb on Dragonstone, which I didn't know. So that'd be kind of a good first island to grab from the White Walkers to sort of set up this forward base. Actually, that's a really good idea in hindsight. The ancestral home of House Targaryen. Where uh, Anal, I believe it was Anal Targaryen, fled from Valyria and obviously landed to uh, to start off a couple of generations before Aegon the Conqueror. I think we should go there. That would be incredible. I wonder if they would, you know, sort of uh, sort of really drive to its defense at all. How many men have they got when it loads? Sorry, he's got so many titles. 177,000. Okay, um, I think we should turn up there and just sit patiently and wait. Or... I mean, I'm going to assume they can't die. Bear in mind, he is 8,300 years old. Yeah, I was going to say we could wait for some sort of splintering in his round, but, I mean, how is it going to splinter? It's all a wasteland. So he's got 177,000 undead. How many of those are event spawned is probably the real question. Because um, I imagine he's got a fair amount of white walks out of that, too. He's got 130,000 event spawn men. So those are undead that when we kill, they'll stay dead. You know, he can't generate an army if, there's, if, if we're killing more than he can resurrect. Or if we're killing more than he's killing, specifically. So, yeah, this is going to be difficult, I think. Okay, so that, that's definitely our plan, then. Let's go for Dragonstone. We have a claim on it anyway, so we've got a legitimate uh, Cassus Belli. What else have we actually got against the White Walker? Let's take a look here. The Night's King. War for the Dawn, if, in fact, is the only one we've got. Um, we have to be a higher rank than High Lord, so we have to be uh, a King level title, essentially. Um... And that's it. Oh, and we have to have the trait Black Brother. Oh, we have to either be a king, or have the trait Black Brother, or... It's going to get a little confusing here. Have to be on the same continent as the others beyond the wall. We have to neighbor the others beyond the wall. The number of uh, titles of the Lord Howard greater or equal to 40. Okay, got it. What do you mean the White Walker doesn't hold 40 titles of Lord or Greater? I'm pretty sure he's... Oh, wait, they're all duchy level titles. Wait, they are Lord or Grey, though. I don't know. We'll, we'll cross that other one we get there. We've got a long way before we've got to worry about the Cassus Belli that we're going to employ, I think. Okay. Krasnus has his egg. Fingers crossed he can hatch it and turn it into something good. How Stark still lives. Four living members. There is... Uh, who have we got? Sansa got any kids? Uh, she's got... Oh, House Redwine, but they are dead. Oh, my God. House Redwine's gone extinct. Not that it matters too much, because they were... That was of the Arbor, so the, the rulers of this area, which, of course, have been uh, wiped out there by the White Walkers. Where have they all fled to, is the real question. Because I was assuming after... Because that's where everybody went on an exodus to, right? Was the Arbor, which is why they had something like a thousand courtiers. Where have they gone now? I wonder if they've just gone somewhere close, or have they just spread out across the world? Weird. Doesn't matter either way. We'll find them eventually. Um, what about the Andal Coast? Nothing. They're Bravosi, actually. Who knows? It's not a big deal, anyway. Um, how Stark is still alive, then? What about... Uh, somebody pointed out that apparently Brienne died, I believe it was. 
Um, oh my god, look at how few we're down to. We've got Daenerys is still alive, Brandon Stark is still alive, Arya is still alive, she is married matrilineally to just some random dude. Uh, and her daughter is the last five member of House Arryn as well. We're trying to keep these noble houses alive, but I think it's going to be, you know, all we can do is arrange marriages and that's it, really. Uh, Gilly is alive. Not that we really give a shit too much about Gilly, but she, of course her children are the last of House Tarly. That's Craster's son. We don't really care about him. Uh, Randall Tarly. We'll mark him a special interest and remove Gilly instead, seeing as she's just, you know, a wildling. Um, draw a Mormont. How's he doing? I don't think he's going to have any more kids. Oh, you know what? He's not even in our court. He's gone to join the High Septum in, in the Underground King's Landing movement. I'm going to untick Jura. He's also got a strong claim on the Night's Watch because, of course, his father was Lord Commander. So that's, that's a weird mechanic. I don't think that's quite right there. Um, who's Edric Spevins? Oh, that's Robert Baratheon's son. Edric Spevins. Oh, shit. He's been... He's taken on a different house. So he's been raised to nobility and he's taken on just a random name. I don't know if there's any way to legitimize him as House Baratheon short of getting the Iron Throne, so we'll have to keep a close eye on this one. They still have the Bloodline, though. Yeah, Bloodline of Boris Baratheon, so keep a close eye on that one as well. Well, we're down to the last few of the original guard, then. Halla says these peasants are mine to command. Um, oh, I'm going to say no from me there, Chief. Gained Roth. Could have been a lot worse. He also has a Dragon Egg, doesn't he? I don't think he's going to be able to hatch that too easily. Loses trait fatigue. Okay, we've still got John Blizzard for a while yet. Yeah? John Avalanche. A son was born to Krasnus named Walton. Terrible. Walton start Targaryen. I suppose it's better than nothing, huh? What did we marry him off to her for? Oh, because she's got wise. Okay, that's understandable, really. Um, Walton start Targaryen. You, my friend, get... I mean, duty's not bad. Duty or thrift. I mean, he's terrible, so we go for thrift. Walton is a bad name. Um, Krasnus. Let's go for random ancestor. Noran, Iron, John. John is a little bit better. Torin, Ramsey. Where are all these names coming from? Oh, it must be from his mother's house, rather than, obviously, Krasnitz, because he's would be kind of a little bit more Targaryen, you'd think. Um, Jossart, Darren, Theo, Dennis. Dennis Stark Targaryen. That seems like a good name. D Dennis? I don't know how you say that. I'm not, I'm, I don't know. I understand Valyrian names. Now, interesting, there was no event with that, and it's a good job I caught it. Uh, it popped up here, somewhere. There we are, on the 16th of 8th moon there. Halla Stark Targaryen had Dragon Whip added to their adventure. I was like, okay, that's weird. He must have inherited this. So Dragon Whip is an artifact that shows who controls the dragon. You see, like, the history of all the dragon owners? Um, no, he actually hatched his dragon egg. Like, literally just hatched it. There wasn't any song and dance about it. I guess because there were already dragons still in the world. I know they make a big song and dance about it when it's the first dragons to come back. But because there are so many, I guess it didn't really matter. But hey, Halla Stark Targaryen. One of, uh, you know, one of one of John's descendants here has another dragon. There's going to be a lot of dragons kicking around. And, and more to the point, they're all within our family right now, which is obviously fantastic. Uh, Viserion died, obviously, against the Night King there. Your reports from Velvet Peak uh, that charity workers, but your, your reports... Oh, right, that explains it. We're missing a name. Brandon of the North, thank you. He's actually having kids, which is good. John of Stark as well. Um, you've got to make sure the Stark family is kept alive. So he's actually betrothed to Tenora Stark Targaryen. They're like, what, second cousins at this point? Because John and Bran are cousins. They're like second or third I believe it's third cousins. Or second cousins once removed. Either way, it doesn't matter too much. Um, you get to marry. I think we'll not try and marry too much into how Stark Targaryen here. I think we want to marry off a lot of our own descendants matrilineally as much as possible. So, what about Atali? A Stark and Atali. They'll join their houses. That'll do. Boom. One of the classic alliances there. Perfect. Alright, and speaking of which, let's also marry off uh, Lyanna Stark Targaryen matrilineally. Who have we got? We c they can actually marry. Because they are, uh, obviously, Targaryen is one thing, but maybe that's not such a bad idea to keep House Targaryen alive. There you go. Marry your sister. It such is the Targaryen fashion. We'll marry her off outside, matrilineally, to keep the actual branch House of Stark Targaryen alive. I'm um, looking for someone around her age, but also with good traits. Perwin, Hightower. That's a good house. He's also appealing, and a family person, and honorable. Seems like a good match. Thank you. Right, Hi House Hightower is the, um... Are uh, there people who, who own the Old Town? I couldn't remember the name of it, but that's where the Citadel is in the show. Um, and obviously in the books as well, but I figured people would know the show a little bit more. Uh, diplomacy education for her. She seems pretty skilled at it. Lord Brandon Stark's been a little and able servant. We can give him one of the two castles that we own right now, which I'm not going to do. Um, took in 15 gold, but he's a three-eyed raven. I don't think he'd give too much of a shit about that. Uh, sure, give him 15 gold. Whatever, he's got enough going for him anyway. Might as well keep House Stark going. That's what we're after. While working the Seven Stars has come to fruition by bribing, calling, extorting, and threatening, and forging documents, we have the Lordship of the Seven Stars. Andalos, we are... <sighs> Who did I just give that castle to? Oh, okay. So, here is Targaryen being Jon's son. We actually didn't have a choice with that. If you don't give away castles, you become a tyrant. Or more specifically, they have a choice of branding you a tyrant. Nine times out of ten, they do. My god, they're like identical, aren't they? Look at that. That's really creepy. 
So we actually had no choice with that event, and I'm, I kind of feel a little bit better about mashing buttons and giving titles away there. Um, but yeah, no, we, we would have been branded a tyrant, and honestly, I feel like that was probably the safest thing to do. Where is Air anyway? And it's House Targaryen, so it doesn't matter too much. And it's our son, more to the point, so who really cares? Would have been nicer to give it away to Krasnus, but I believe he doesn't make demands because he's the first in line. I don't remember that mechanic, but I'm sure people in the comments can back me up on that one. Alright, so what do we got then? So we've got claims on the Seven Stars, East Andalus, Mother's Valley. Not that it matters too much, because as a Dragon Rider, we can just take what we want anyway, uh, with the Dragon Conquest casters. But like, the issue is we don't have an army to back the dragon up right now, so short of waiting for some money, or waiting for some other circumstance to happen. How's Daenerys doing? Um, she has a castle, the Sunrise Gate, and of course is the Khaleesi of some random event spawn Dothraki there. So she's still got troops, interestingly enough. We could call her in as an ally. We, we do have an alliance. So let's assume, assume that she actually does do something in this war. She's got 2,200 men, plus she's in, Pentos, in Pentos's capital. So if we went to war with Pentos, called her in and she agreed, they wouldn't be able to raise troops in their capital without them being smashed by a uh, Dothraki that were already there. Hang on. This could work. Jon Snow, we only have 300 men. What's our maximum levy size? We're 1,300. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, let's have you train troops. I, I mean, the Master of Arms is better for training children. Uh, excuse me? There we go. Uh, someone's upset that we gave the title to the wrong son, but there's nothing we can really do about that, like I said. Council's happy. Good. Nice to see. Um, what about House Tarth? I actually want to check on Brienne, didn't I? So let's go House, T House Tarth, History, uh, Selwyn, Brienne. That's the end. I think that's the end of House Tarth. They've been wiped out, have they? Zero living members. She had obviously Oathkeeper. I wonder who inherited Oathkeeper there. Lady Brienne the Maid died a natural death at age 56. That's a real shame, huh? Goodbye, Brienne of Tarth. You, you served the house well. You did a good job. Did we inherit? We did. We inherited it because we were a liege and she had no surviving members. I think she'd also give... Oathkeeper to Jon Snow. I, th I think he's a fairly honourable guy. That seems like something Brian would do. Jon Avalanche has been back downgraded to Jon Snow. I'm back in shape. I've lost the fat trait. He's no longer going to break his dragon's back and maim it by jumping on there. That's pretty good. Same with Daenerys, I guess. Nice. Okay, so uh, that's going to keep him alive a little bit longer, right? Because I believe it gave a... Yeah, hard diet gives plus health, but I think it said your health will deteriorate for the longer you're fat. So there must be some background modifier there. I'm not entirely sure of the mechanics on that one. Right, this is good. So it's going to give us... Oh, God damn it, Johnson. I was going to say it gives us a couple more years to plan out for, you know, raising up forces, earning some cash. Now we're done with that. I'm going to flip back over to business, try and raise some funds for the war against Pentos. I guess to overthrow them and form the kingdom of Andalos instead. All right, so with good news, I've called significant sabotage in Pentos. That's great. Okay. Um, Inside unrest gives revolt risk. We've got to keep a very close eye on this and see if we can uh, get that to kick off. Or if it does kick off. What is this? Um... Mylonos... Oh, wow. Okay, so someone else is already at war for Pentos. They've only got 1,000 men. Daenerys has more. What about his vassal troops? That's everybody. He's hired 500 as well. I think I have to do it, don't I? How have they got so few troops? Hmm, I guess his vassals just don't like him. No, that's exactly what's happening. They don't like him. He's a, he's a terrible magister. He's an unjust... Dishonorable, lunatic, cruel man. Jon Snow, I think, would be a great enemy of him. His vassals hate him. Maybe we should liberate Pentos. Oh, we're at Truce Breaker. Shit. Um, still gotta wait three years or two years. Let's do it. The smallest spider makes my son Halas squeal and cover. Oh god, who are you? You're not my heir, are you? No, he's not. Authoritative and wrath, scared of spiders. Uh, fear is the mind killer. Twenty-five. He loses the trait Craven, guaranteed. But Mike in the trance brave didn't. But that's okay. That's that's fine nonetheless. Daenora Stark Targaryen has Dragon Whip. That means that she has also hatched uh, Tomo Tormoxen, named after, of course, Tormund Giantsbane there. I'm not sure that's true, but it's good headcanon. Daenora Stark Targaryen, well then, another one of the many dragon riders there. Crazy. She's got a nimble dragon. Daenerys had an enormous flagship added to her treasury. That's what she spent her gold on. An, an enormous flagship. Well, that does give her martial bonuses. Maybe if we're going to war, now would be the time to do it. Stannis' crown, Daenerys' crown... Dragon's Whip. Khaleesi Daenerys. She named the boat after herself. Of course she would. That's a very Daenerys thing to do, isn't it? Maybe now's the time. Maybe we should just embrace the Truce Breaker for the good of House Targaryen and the good of House Stark. House Stark Targaryen, if you will. I feel like we kind of have to do it. My young son has finished his education. He came out a dutiful commander. Crappy, but we can't really worry about that too much. Hey, there we go. Krasnus actually hatched the dragon successfully. The She-Dragon, Silviax. Good for him. That's pretty good. He still has to tame it. That's only the first step. So he's not a dragon rider yet until he manages to tame it. And taming it is far more dangerous. Well, it, it's probably equally as dangerous, I'd say, because the dragon could just eat him whole. Um, but I, I think, you know, given that... Oh, dear. Given that he, you know, hatched the dragon in the first place, he's got a pretty strong chance to tame it as well. Brandon Stark, 
has lost his Valyrian Steel Dagger. He died from his injuries, from his crippling injuries. Wow. He deserves to be honored with the funeral. Of course he does. This was the Brandon Stark who told Jon Snow about his, his parentage and, of course, the, the final true heir to House Stark. Goodbye. And, of course, Jon's technically his... I, I mean, technically his cousin, but more like his brother, who will invite to his funeral all the court of Velvet Peaks. We just invite everybody. It's 150 gold. We're going to war. We can't afford that. It's 32 gold for this one. I think just the Stark Targaryen family... But that wouldn't invite his own children. I guess his court then. We'd better invite his, his actual children to his funeral. Huh? That'd be pretty rude. The invitations have been sent to the lords and ladies of the realm. The last of the old guard are dying. And now the world can be reborn without all these <laughs> houses having claims on all my goddamn titles. The best part about preparing a feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. John, not again. Seriously, my guy, you just got back in shape. You've just got over your nickname of John, John Avalanche. I'll spend lavishly on food. Oh, fuck off. The king is fat. Go get the breastplate, stretcher. All of the guests have arrived at Velvet Peak, but now it's Beba Deva to live with Brandon Stark. The crime and banditry in Velvet Peak is rampant. Of course it is. I will send Helen Reed to deal with the problem. Helen organized a group of men to tackle the bandits of the rogues of Velvet Peak. Of course he can do that. He's Helen Reed. He killed Arthur Dane in a very legitimate sword competition. I've met a more fascinating person. We became close friends with Fiona Gladmore. Helen Reed's wife, watch out, Daenerys. She's lustful and brave, apparently. She'd have to be to deal with Jon Snow, John Blizzard. Having been insulted, we lose a trait just because the court jester is calling us fat. What would Bobby B do? No, we really shouldn't let it get on our nerves like this. Some of my guests did not seem satisfied with the food. Aaron Marsh, wife of uh, Anya Aaron, which is what? His, his niece? Oh no, like his second cousin, I guess, at this stage. Man, the family tree is so confusing. It's basically just a bloody circle at this point. You committed much gold to this extravagant feast. It was worth the coin. We get some more prestige. Prestige is not going to win us a war. Brandon Stark died from crippling injuries on the 24th, 11th moon, 80 through 29 at age 45. He was a man with little likes or dislikes who just lived for each day as it come, as it came. <laughs> Brandon wielded a Valyrian steel blade. Not very well, because, of course, he was in a wheelchair. Holding a funeral will be removed from Carl John the Just. Game 40 piety and he, everybody leaves. I mean, hopefully everybody leaves anyway. Well, that was, um... Uh, a successful feast, which in the Game of Thrones world is obviously a pretty big deal, all things considered. We need a new priest. Um, now, I don't particularly want to convert people to the northern ways. I don't think it's appropriate. But we can at least hire a priest to do charity work or something like that. I don't think John's a particularly religious guy. I don't think he gives too much of a shit about that. Let's hire a new courtier and go for a priest. Damon. Damon the Northman, a lustful, wrathful, paranoid priest. Sounds perfect. Just what we're after here. You sound like exactly the type of guy we need to go and do charity in our name. Right, off you go. Again, I'm not going to proselytize. It will cause too much revolt risk and, and have too many issues. Okay. What do we do then? Uh, Daenerys is voting for laws within her Khaleesi. I'm sure the Dothraki care about levy-shifted church obligations. Good work there. She's, she's the finest of rulers. Agnatic Cognatic Gavel kind. It's going to be a no from me, Chief. We're going to switch over to that one and piss off all our other sons. But it means Krasnes is set to inherit. And... Of course, if he dies, we're not going to have a Targaryen takeover and lose the game. Well, you know, we wouldn't lose the game, but the mechanics would make us lose the game. Halus is unlanded, which is a problem. As I said, we, we only have one castle to give away there. Neither of them hold land yet, but we won't worry about him too much. What are our important decisions then? Hold a melee. We could do that. Uh, it's 50 gold. Again, gold is what we need to win this friggin' war. I think we're just going to have to wait to debase the mints, but I don't want Daenerys to die. She is what? How, how old is she right now? 53. She's got a life-threatening illness. She's got a severe illness as well. Oh, man. We've, we, I think let's just hold out until the truce the, the truce is, is done with. Pentos is becoming weaker by the day. Come on, Daenerys. You've got to hold out just another few more months. No. Shit. Okay. Um, Daenerys has died. And with her, 2,000 of our troops are gone. Who inherited... Did someone inherit the Great Grass Sea, though? So, Hayrus of Velvet's Peak. Hayrus Targaryen, she even lost her title. It's gone. Castle of the Sunrise Gate. Krasnus? Oh, Krasnus got it. Oh, and he inherited her troops. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, I suppose he was her firstborn son. Oh, nice. Okay, so the titles are going to conglomerate a little bit. Well, that'll do. And if we die, he inherits, at which point we'll steal his title as well. Nice. Time passes. Well, I say we'll steal his title. Obviously, he will basically bring the titles together. Time passes. Yet to me, the world seems unreal. It's as if life without Daenerys is but a mama's farce. Goodbye, Daenerys Targaryen. Drown yourself in wine, moan, and song. Jon Snow wouldn't do that. Uh, lose yourself in books, songs, and the wisdom of others. I think Jon Snow would do that one. Seek solace in the arms of another. Fall in love with Talia and piss off all of her family. This is nonsense. He wants to move on. 
I don't know. It's between choice one. Uh, it's between choice two or four. There would we'll piss everyone off, though. I think John would do this one. Get this Craven trait. The world is a scary place, and of course, he is depressed. Jon Snow. What a what a horrible life. That really sucks for Daenerys. Spent all of her life trying to get back to the throne. Loses it to the to, to winter itself to the Night's King, and then dies having only owned a castle in Pentos. That's a sad existence, isn't it? And now Jon Snow, fat, sad Jon Snow, living at home in his castle without an army. Could we win this? We've got dragons. We have many, many dragons. He's got 400 men. Fuck it. Oh, what's a truce? Okay, 20. So we've got to wait a couple more months there. Two more months and goodbye, Pentos. Oh, shit. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that Tormoxen has escaped the dungeons of Daenora and has built a lair in Velvet Peak. My stupid daughter has lost her dragon and it's now kicking around our castle. Can we attempt to tame it? We can't because we already have a dragon. Someone else might, though. Which could be an issue, of course, if it's someone under Pentos. Rayla Stark Targaryen got him. A 14-year-old girl. Holy shit, she managed to tame it. Well, that's great news. She's betrothed Matrilonia House Hightower. That's good, because it's staying within our dynasty. So one daughter lost it and another gained it. That's fine, because she's also, matri she's also not matrilineally married to a Stark. So we don't particularly want a dragon going to the Stark family in case of, you know, blood feuds cropping up, that type of thing. Wow. Okay. What a story. 14-year-old girl tames a dragon. I guess it's something to do with that strong Targaryen blood, huh? I have sabotaged Pentos once again. Thank you. It is time to ride to war. Oh, God. Krasnus lost his dragon and he now has an infection. Krasnus, what have you done? What have you done, Sir Krasnus Stark Targaryen of Sunrise Gate? Strange things to call your son. You probably call him a fucking idiot or something. Oh, God. And he's got an infection. He lost a dragon, which is now in Pentos. We need to go to war. We need to go to war now. Dragon Conquest of Pentos. I have high hopes for this war. We've got 200 gold. We can hire mercenaries if it's necessary. We have many dragon riders at our cause. Let's hire some more troops. Well, we could also take a loan. I think we need to take a loan, don't we? I'm, I'm, I'm pushing the advantage where we've got it before Jon Snow dies and we lose yet another dragon. Take out a loan. 34 gold. I'll take it. How, how can we hire with that? Who can we hire? Let's take a look. We hire these guys for 225 gold. We've got 4 gold per month. Wouldn't give us them for many long. Wouldn't give us for many months, would it? Okay, what else have we got? 150. That'll do. I'll take that one. Sure. Welcome aboard. Right. Okay. Who is this guy? This guy is at war. I assume for Pentos. Peasant revolt. She's winning. Oh shit. Okay, that could be a problem. Um, John, take the center. Have oh, we got other dragon riders? We do. Okay, Halas, take another flank. Let's see if we can't put some more. Okay, so Halas. We've also got Harris. Sir Harris, why can't he l become a commander? Probably because we need to make him a commander. You're sacked. Devin Seaworth, I'm sorry. Oh, this is cool. This is very, very cool. John and his two sons, Halas Stark Targaryen and Harris Targaryen, because, of course, he, he took on his mother's coat of arms there. Dragon Riders and family. This is cool. This is exactly like Aegon's Conquest, except he's not married to his two sons, I would hope. Although they are Targaryen, so let's not say too much on that one. Okay. Let's get some morale. We are going to absolutely destroy them. Okay, cast a spell I ended no longer valid. Round two, I think. Um, she's got 2,000 men, but if we're quick, if we're quick, it shouldn't matter. Declare war. Dragon Conquest of Pentos. Round two. Raise up, fellow gamers. Uh, she wants to marry, yeah, of course, House Hightower. Of course we will. Right, Harris and Halas. We just want to make sure they are still the same guys. Yep, okay. Kill them all. Magister Lucerne Mapatis is an issue to all of her subjects, promising glory mouth to anyone who can master a dragon. She's trying to call for people to tame the dragon. That's interesting. Okay, your acquaintance, we don't care about him. It's, it's probably for the best. Okay, if they attack us here, they die because we've got three dragon riders. This will be good. Stop. Deploy the dragons. Deploy all of them and burn them all. The enemy are beyond counting. We're obviously, Rhaegal, of course, Daenerys', uh, Daenerys dragon there. Dracarys. Named after John's father as well, which is kind of cool. They are they are done for. Roasted and toasted. 47 losses versus 1,400. That's a great start. Chase them to Pentos. They're heading over to where we want to go anyway. Halas, Chief General. Sure, as long as he's still leading troops. Oh, shit. No, we're going to have to take him off of, uh, off of his whatever his duty happens to be there. Right. You're not doing that one for a while. Let's put you on this one instead. Good. Chase him to Pentos. Burn them all. Now, this is just going to be, even if we win, the first step to a lot of greater problems. Deploy the dragon. Burn them all. Did we do it? Still. Okay, we can actually siege Pentos now. We've destroyed enough of their defenses. We will. Oh, there we go. He tried to catch Drogon and failed. Of course, he's not going to catch Drogon. If we could do that. 
Drogon is the most powerful of the living dragons. You know, supposedly the reincarnation of Beleriand, the Black Dread. Septon Perono tried to kill... Okay, this is good. As, as long as people don't catch him, I'm fine with that. Krasnis, I would like you to have caught Drogon, I'll be honest with you. Man, everybody's going for these fucking dragons. Because it will sway the tide of the war. It could go either way right now, to be honest. If they manage to spend a lot of their gold to bring in a lot of men from Bravos or the other three cities who might feel threatened by this, they could potentially take things back. So if our sun manages to get Drogon, obviously we're, we're in you know an incredibly good situation, but if they manage to get it, we're fucked. Dracarys, keep burning their defenses and then siege down the rest. Release all the prisoners. There's no one of value. She's gone. She's in hiding. Man, that sucks. Okay. Um... The Prince's Palace is the second most fortified place in Pentos. That's where the Feudal Lord sits. Torch it too. Let, let's, let's get it done. We've got to wait one week. What the hell happened? Rayla Stark Targaryen. Slain in cold blood by the White Walker of Winter. What was she doing? She, she was slain in cold blood by the White Walker of Winter. Glasswater Hall? No, she went to Westeros with him. Another dragon gone. Another Targaryen gone. You fool! What is wrong with you? Don't worry, wife. You have a dragon. We can reclaim the Iron Throne by ourselves. Yeah, how'd that fucking work out? Oh my god, you absolute fools. Okay. Deploy the dragon. Let's let's get Pentos. We can also face the dragon, of course, if we weren't the owner of a dragon there. Dracarys. Luckily, we're not getting maimed again. Ah, Lyanna Stark Targaryen. Good. She's matrilineally married to... Oh, she's matrilineally married. To House Targaryen. So House Targaryen's going to die out. Which is probably for the best. We, we prefer it to be House Stark Targaryen. Does the world have enough room? She's managed to tame Tor Moxon. Good. Fantastic news. Please don't go to Westeros. We don't have the time or effort. The Ram never rests and neither shall Jon Snow. Fiona fancies him. It's not appropriate. That's Helen Breed's ex-wife. We're not going for that one. Oh God. An enemy horde. Master Yorwick. No. Uh, Stalwart Defender get Marshal. Not that it matters because we're leading troops elsewhere. Okay, who's going to win the siege first? We've got a dragon, so I have a feeling we've probably got this one in the bag. Okay, let's have some time take. Wait until we can send the dragon out once again. Why can't we do it? There we go. Okay. Boom. Chikaris, he's ready. Perfect. We've got it. Okay. 4.8% every 12 days, so it's going to be another, unfortunately, another, like, month or so before we've got this one sieged. Nice. Prince's Palace is gone. Let's head up and kill their troops. Let's go back and defend our own title. Because obviously if they take the castle and manage to grab our air or something. Well, I don't know if they can because he's leading a troop. If they manage to grab anyone of our family, that's going to be war score that we're missing out on. I'm not pitiful state of my son, Halas. Halas Stark Targaryen, the dragon rider. has got the flu. Such as the... Uh, I should have sent my position. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, he did a good job anyway. Thank you. Move in. And luckily, we're breaking even with these mercenaries. We're keeping just enough gold to uh, keep them going here. Right, the second we get there, deploy the dragon. We want to open up with the dragon at this stage. 12th of 9th moon. Okay, here we go. Let's get ready. Finger on the button. We're in. Deploy the dragon. Dracarys, burn them all. Oh, shit. The land is consumed by dragon fire. A risky tactic, but we torched everything. We've stopped them. Lord Terence of the Seven Stars tried to fight him, but failed. And is now dead. Caesar Torgodorio tried to slay the dragon and failed. A blind man tried to kill our dragon. That's as brave, I'll be honest with you. But, you know, obviously it didn't go too well for him there. 58%. Right, speed up a little bit. We're done. Surely this is the end of the war. 68%. Uh, we could chase them, or we could start sieging some other provinces in Pentos. Why don't we see where is not too defended here and try and just lay down a lot of carpet sieging. Uh, Sunrise Road. If we deploy the dragon here, it's probably going to fall almost immediately. W risking that maimed. Okay, we got wounded, which is kind of a little bit of a shame, but not too much of a big deal. If that had happened early on in the war, we would have been super fucked. Um, try and cut them off. They move a lot. Should have waited for them to be moving a lot, really. Let's swing through and actually take them out. We've got this. <gasps> Shit, Harris was maimed in the battle. No. He needs a good potion. He's going into battle. Oh, his nose has been cut off. My god. Battle of Albert March, we won it, but at what sick cost? Can't deploy the dragon as well, because he's, he's wounded. Oh, we can deploy if they're wounded, but because he's wounded, he has a higher chance of becoming maimed. 5% rather than uh, 8% or whatever it was. Or, uh, it was 4% before, but 8% chance to get wounded. Now it's 5% chance to get maimed. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Remember when I said that during the first war? Jaina Dondarian. Thank you. Uh, I shall arrange this for what we can't really afford it. Oh, I owe her nothing. I'm sorry, Jenna. I apologize. We'll, we'll, you will get the finest castle after this war. She won't. Don't tell her. Okay. Deploy the dragon again. Again, risky tactics. 5% chance. Come on, you can do it. We're good. Okay, grab the Velvet March. We could assault this down, but I'm not feeling that confident. Hayless and Harris. That gets very confusing. Both dragon riders still on the flanks there. Okay, we're good. 
What has she got left? We could just start Siege in top level holdings and hope that that would do it. Nice. Rain, uh, Rhaegar is no longer... Rhaegar? What was his name? Obviously, Rhaegar was John's father. What's the dragon? Rhaegar. Of course it is. Rhaegar. Okay, drop the dragon again. Dracarys. Okay, that was a good siege. Wow, we killed a lot of the defenders. Their actual defense is still good. Good, good forts there. Morale is still high, despite the fact that we're going to absolutely wipe them out. Let's get kill the last of their troops here, because they could counter siege. We haven't left behind that big a garrison. Got him. No. Was slain by the Jogos Nahai. Have they actually, they've, they've hired troops. Shit. Small private battlefield funeral. Halastar Targaryen has died. This has cost the family massively. Daenerys has died up and up coming to the war. What's that? Children have died. We've lost dragons. Well, we did lose, of course, Rayla Stark Targaryen as well. Man, this has been a, a whole dragon-based nightmare. Should we just give up on the whole dragon thing? What a pain in the ass this has been. It's cost us everything. Well, we've also gained everything, so I can't complain too much. All right. Play with fire, you get burnt. Deploy the dragon in the siege. Let's go. This should be the end. They should surrender after this. They can't take much more, surely. We could just... Let's just let the siege go through naturally. The, we've risked so much. Let's just let's just take it easy at the end of the war here, I think. Boom. She's also got grayscale. Oh my god, if she dies, I'll cry. No. If she dies, we're done for. Deploy the dragon. I didn't want to do it, but we've got to. Come on, do not die. Do not die. Stay alive. Deploy the dragon again. We're running out of troops. <gasps> That's good. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Went 8%. Oh god, we still need to deploy the dragon. Go. Okay. You fool. You fool. So Krasnus Stark Targaryen of the Sunrise Gate tried to catch Sylviax and failed. Another one killed by a dragon. I actually can't believe it. This has cost us everything. Jon Snow is still alive. 58 years of age. Everyone else dead as dicks. But... Oh, she died, but luckily the war didn't. We, we were, I thought it would end inconclusively, but we are good. We've usurped the kingdom of Pentos. They have bent the knee. Lord Kosomo of Pentos is it now our retainer. The capital is in Velvet Peak. Shame we didn't get Pentos itself, but hey, we've got a kingdom level title. It cost us many dragons, three children, four children. What the fuck? And of course, our other son, Harris of Velvet Peak, maimed in battle. But he still has his dragon. He's House Targaryen, so, you know, we're, we're still going to hopefully be able to carry on things here. Our son, our heir now, Sir Dennis of the Sunrise Gate. You need to be educated. Oh my god, he won't accept educate, please, for the love of god. No! Be a hostage in a foreign power. Are you shitting me right now? Form an alliance with him, then. We've just got to pray and hope to hell that... Okay, Pentashi Pol... Okay, that's good. New houses rising up is good, because they won't remember the whole war. This sucks. This really sucks. High Lordship of the Velvet Pills. Create it. There we go. That's good. Nice. Man, that was stressful, huh? Everybody's dead. We've got an heir. It really did cost us everything. But Pentos is Jon Snow's. They've bent the knee and they now call him King of Pentos. This is, uh, this is tricky. This is really, really tricky. We do need to hopefully take the city of Pentos at some stage as well. I think we should start fabricating claims on it because that would be uh, that would be a lot better than a castle in the, a landlocked castle in the middle of the hills where we can easily be surrounded. Lord of East Andalos. Well, the Andals like us because obviously we are similar culture in that regard. In faith of the Seven versus the Old Gods. I think it's religious differences or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, you know, they're actually not too upset about him being their ruler. 44. Why? Short reign, limited brand authority, wrong government type foreigner. The majority of this is coming from religious craven. Okay, because he's a good, you know, just naturally a good leech. Now, our heir does not have a dragon. If you could face Drogon and get it, that would be incredible. Dear Grandfather? Oh, you know what he is, isn't he? Man, that's confusing. Accept your proposal for alliance. Hey, how about you actually negotiate annexation? I should go personally. We can try and annex him and make him our vassal. He should be anyway. So what, how the fuck did he get independence? I guess because Daenerys is independent. Let's go and speak to him. Pentos, we've got it. Holy shit, that was fast. Will he agree to the revocation, though? Uh, the city of... Oh, shit, we can't. Why not? Oh, we have a truce. When he dies, we can revoke it. Okay, nothing to worry about there. I'm sure Sir Dennis will be interested. Seems Sir Dennis would like a position of power on the council as a con condition for annexation. Specifically covers the position of Hand of the King. Gonna make my six-year-old grandson Hand of the King. Sure. 
Whatever. He will learn. He will learn to to rule from Jon Snow. I feel like this is something that's fairly legitimate, actually. Name him Hand of the King. The alliance is broken now because, of course, he is our vassal. And now we can assign him a guardian of our own choosing, I believe. So, Jon Snow, yes. There we go. He won't be a for hostage in a foreign power because, you know, he is actually... Oh, uh, wish to... Yeah, okay. Why, why would I say no to that? Thank you. Right, we can actually educate our own grandson there. 58-year-old Jon Snow has done it. Dragon Rider, King... It's going to be a rocky one now. We've, we've got to unify the people of Pentos under the banner of Stark Targaryen. We've got to form some alliances with Bravos, Lorath, Mir, all of our... Lorath, Mir, all of our other fellow city-states, I guess, as weird as that sounds. And then Winter. Man, this is going to be difficult. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have liked this episode. I think this has been a good one. I think we've achieved a lot. I'm happy to leave it here. Let's move on to greater things. Let's manage this round and keep together. Everybody laid down their lives for this, so it would be a real shame to lose it all. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Harik, Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Sedini, Conspire T, Krosis, Escape, Facundo Vasquez, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindin, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Necrophilum, Pelvis Presley, Sean Thornton, Smirtworm, Tom Terrier 18, Vacuous Backers, Wolf Sent, and Zazzy 7011. Thank you all for your support and insanity loves on Patreon. Thank you for making this series possible. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. Hopefully, you guys are liking the new series of Game of Thrones. A series that I watched the episode earlier. Pretty goddamn good. I don't want to talk about joint series, you know, joint episodes, because people obviously aren't going to be immediately caught up to it. But yeah, if you're not watching that, let me check that out. And a big thank you as well to. Gray, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Llewellyn Thomas, Acero, Betamus Max, Chris, Crazy Pat, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Conny 2 and 7, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Haji Dumar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, Icy the Great, Jay Lehrer, James Barnes, Zuron DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plock, Nathan Flores, Matthew, Nick, Panther Pearl, People of Death, Good Treatment of Animals, Sir Thol the Swede, Shari, Wolfie, Zico, Anna Person, Sedini, Fraser Brennan, Noah Gallimore, and the Insane Pickle. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for making this channel possible, and thank you for enjoying a little bit of Game of Thrones here with me today. I'll see you all tomorrow.